I'm joined today by Taylor Women's Soccer Head Coach Scott Stan to look back at the 2020 season for he and the Trojans. Scott, it was obviously a different season than what you've normally had in your previous season as a head coach here at Taylor, but what was it like just to have a season from beginning to end? It was actually phenomenal that we got the season in. We only lost that that one game with Goshen who had to shut down just a little bit early. But even though it was unusual during the day, you know, we're wearing masks and doing all these social protocols. When we got to the field and we were able to practice and be distant and take the masks off for a couple hours a day, it actually felt like normal again, which was, you know, nice for us. Um, the ladies liked having that chance to interact and be just like college students again. And the, the fact that we were able to do that just felt like a real blessing, especially as we watch some teams shut down or like other leagues not have any season at all. And for us to get through it and play all but one game just felt really special. The team went 7-5-1, five, and 4-4 of four and four the Crossroads League this year. You were able to host a first-round tournament game in the Crossroads League tournament this year. But what did you learn about your team overall uh, through everything that they had to battle through this year? Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to, to get a recap on it. But, you know, it wasn't our best record we've ever had. We didn't really get to do much with the non-conference teams and really establish how we wanted to play. And then we were thrust right into four out of five games in that one stretch were against nationally ranked opponents. They're all on the road. And we just couldn't get a foothold in the league at that point. And then we came back and won some of the games that we should have won, got a really good tie at the end against Indiana Wesleyan, and were able to host a, a tournament game, which was fantastic. So I thought we grew but I thought we were still getting better when the season came to an end instead of, you know, having hit our peak. So I would have liked maybe two more weeks and I thought we could have really accomplished a lot more at that point. With as many young players that you relied on this season all over the field, whether they were freshmen or, or sophomores, does that give you a, a, a lot of bright spots as you get ready for, for off season work, knowing that a lot of players that maybe were coming into their own in those last couple of weeks, like you mentioned, you get a chance to really work with them this spring and, and refine their skills and get them ready for 2021? Yeah, it does. I, we obviously had a, a core of seniors that were very instrumental to us doing well, but we returned 20 players next year. So that's a lot. And we're also adding nine new players, which is a lot. So we'll have a, have a big team, but the fact that we can get those 20 women on the same page, doing things together and really refining what we do. Cause I think they just got kind of a taste of it this fall. It was all a little bit shortened for us, but I think it's going to be a, a fantastic thing to build on for next year so that we can get those 20 up to speed. And then maybe we won't have to depend on the youngsters as much when they come in, but obviously if they're ready to play, we'll play them. But it's just nice to have such a strong returning core and that'll be sophomores and juniors. And we'll still have, I think it's six seniors on the team next year as well. So very, very good balance. One of those seniors leading the way for your team this year was Morgan Orm. She had her best season as a Trojan, career-high seven goals, career-high eight assists. The goals total was tied for the team high with Lindley, too, and she was tied for the league lead in the Crossroads League in assists. What was it like to watch her put together everything that she had shown in her first three seasons and really go out with a bang here in her senior campaign? It, it was great. It, it was a little bit unexpected to, to take your first three-year averages and then beat the goals and beat the assists in one year. And so Morgan has always been one of those fast players that's, that's quick and unpredictable. But this year, she also had the confidence to, to play good soccer and still use her speed. So I love that she scored more goals than she ever had. But just to be a forward and lead the league in assists is really quite an accomplishment. And, and to, to bust out in that way is good. I think she finishes maybe 14th all-time in points. And I think she was down around 70 at the start of the season. So, I mean, just the tremendous... You know, burst in stats, but it's not just statistics. She just helped us play better and was a calming influence on the field and just a really, really good leader. Mentioned she's one of your seniors this year. She graduates with Hannah Martinez, Victoria Hilsey, Raina Williams, and then your two managers and Natalie Hummer and Danielle Parker. What has been their, their legacy and their lasting impact on the Taylor women's soccer program, both as players and, and as young women away from the field? Yeah, it's, it's a great group of leaders. It's, it's also nice that when you're mentioning we have a forward there, we have a midfielder, we have two defenders, we have two people that are managers for our program. So they were all in different things on the field. Raina was a senior captain as a defender in the middle there. 
Um, Hannah Martinez was a first year captain for us, very good leader in the midfield. Um, Tori did a, a great job. She played both mid and defense. And by the way, a plug for Tori, she scored the only game winning goal over a D1 team in program history. So, I mean, that was just really great, but fun people, um, very active and making sure that other people feel comfortable and fit into our program. So while they're at the top as seniors, they're really kind of at the bottom and that they did so much for the team and led them in so many ways. And then I don't really know how to replace Danielle and Natalie because we've never had managers before. Um, so Daniel was the first. She came in as a friend of Jordan Lehman and, and hopped right in and wanted to be a part of the program. And now I don't know how to run practice without somebody keeping stats and videotaping and making sure the equipment's where it needs to be and making sure girls get to the bus on time and just – it, it's invaluable and they, they've all done a really, really good job in their roles. What are the outlook? Uh, what's the outlook looking like for off season work? Obviously uh, the regular classes ending up here the next couple of days and then finals and then a different type of schedule with J term and the start of the spring semester. But what are these, what does the off season look like for you in the Taylor women's soccer program? Yeah, normally because we would come back after Thanksgiving and have a few weeks of classes, we're having our longest break, I believe, in the 13 years that I've been here. So normally they take, I try to give them two weeks. A lot of times they take a weekend and then they start lifting and doing agilities, but we'll have about six weeks where they're kind of responsible to do things on their own. But for us this spring and winter, obviously when it's cold, we'll be doing the normal agilities and weightlifting. And then we hope to get out and, and do 12 weeks of practice, but I don't believe we'll be playing games this spring. And then because JV was, put off this fall until spring, the JV will have a couple of games and I'll, I'll be working with them a little bit too in the spring. Well, Scott, thank you so much for the time. Thanks for your time all season. Best of luck with that off season work. And we'll talk to you before the 2021 season gets here. All right. Thanks Rick. That is Scott Stan, the Taylor women's soccer head coach joining me today. Stay up to date with everything Taylor women's soccer. Just log on to taylortrojans.com.